Well guys, this video goes about field speakers, uh, why I am hunting for those vintage field speakers at the moment. But before that, I want to show you what happened with me the last few days. Uh, you remember that uh, GBL 4365, well, that ad... I, I, I did an offer from 27.50, he asked 3,500, I, I lost that, probably the guy sold it for 3,500. And then I had, I saw this at Bowers and Wilkins, 802, 802 Nautilus, and Prima Luna amplifiers. So this is the picture, this is the picture. Um, he asked, as, as, as you can see over here, 6,500 euro. He's in Belgium. And these are the speakers. Beautiful speakers, my friend, with the right color. The color I like. I like the most. And uh, it came with two tube amps. So two mono block two tube, tube amps from, uh, you can see it here, Prima Luna. Yes. And a... Uh, a uh, no, the, the, these are the two power amps. And a, also a preamp from Prima Luna. And with very good cables, very expensive good cables. And then I did the guy an offer from 5,000 euro. And uh, well, within one day, the, the ad was gone. He didn't even um, connect with me. So he didn't even told me, well, I have a higher bid. You, you have to go higher to get it. And uh, I was waiting for an answer, for a reply. But uh, probably the 5,000 was not enough. And then he would say, well... Since when do you, Andrew, buy speakers or sets or set up from 5,000 euro? Well, look what you got, my friends. And, well, when I, uh, when I missed this thing, so when I saw this thing online, so it was gone, I was not that disappointed. But I dreamt the whole evening, I dreamt of these speakers that I... With the 5,000 euro bit, that it, was, that it was high enough to get this stuff in my house, all this stuff. And uh, so I had a good night. I had a good. I, everybody can dream, my friends. Everybody can dream. And I dreamt about this stuff for only 5,000 euro. And uh, probably, uh, well, you can. You never know. You never know. Maybe next time I'm happy. You know, I'm lucky. But this time I wasn't lucky. And uh, beautiful speakers, not sure how they sound, but <laughs> these speakers wait, wait even more as those GBL 4365. These weight 94 kilo each, 94 kilo a speaker, my friends. So, well, anyway, this was, uh, this was the story I wanted to tell you, tell you what I was hunting for, and I missed that. And then I saw this. Before I start with the Philips topic, I show you this. I saw this ad. Kummer, Kummer, well, braid band, full range, loudspeaker, Tayak, Tayak vintage, so Tayak wood. And this, this is how they are looking. These are real vintage speakers. I think this is metal. Kummer, yes, this is metal. Kummer Electronics. Strange looking speakers, my friends. So they have a wattage from 10 watt. Unbelievable, 10 watt. They are made in Holland, Dutch speakers. And uh, this is the back side. And this is what they, the guy is, what he is, what he write. I, 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 I translate it for you here in English. Rare teak wooden columns from the Frisian brand Kummer Electronica. In the 60s, Kummer was specialized in exclusively high-end audio equipment. And this speaker have an 8 ohm 10 inch isophone Al Alnico paper cone broadband drivers without crossover but with support for four Lorenz tweeter each. So in every speaker you have a Alnico paper cone driver, broadband driver, but also in every speaker you can find four Lorenz, Lorenz tweeters. 
high efficiency with a clear, loud and warm sound with very deep lows. Also suitable for the tube amplifiers and with no and with 10 watts already defi de de defining. Okay, this is the dimension 128 high, 38 wide and 35 deep. Not sure how much how much kilo it weight, but you can hear the thing anyway. Uh, this is it, my friends. And this uh, the, the highest bit is 150 euro. And I thought, well, I was very interested in these speakers, to be honest. Very interested because they are rare. They are rare, rare, rare speakers. And also because of the specs about this this this, this broadband Alnico driver and those four tweeter units, uh, a speaker. And you can say what you want. Maybe you think they are ugly, but I can tell you they are special. And maybe they are not good sounding at all, but I think they are good sounding. Not sure. Something in my in my in my head say they are they are good sounding speakers. They are special sounding speakers. But okay, um, I don't gonna buy them because the guy lives uh, two hours driving from my house. So I his bit is one hundred fifty euro. And uh, I think this is massive or wooden teak, massive teak, teak, wood, wood. <laughs> In those days, they, they didn't use that veneer. They just made them massive wood. This is what I like. You can see it. I think in this picture, you can see that this, yeah, no, this is triplex. I can see that this is, the underside is triplex. Okay, the underside is triplex. They use cheaper wood. From the other, from the underside, well, they look nicer. Okay, I go over to the uh, to the uh, to the Philips uh, uh, thing. You all remember this video from me? The Philips 22RH497. I uh, not that long ago I made that video. Uh, the best speaker under 100 euro second hand well i forgot to mention you this speaker this speaker sounds completely different than that uh, other speaker i mentioned in that video the technics sb4500 it sounds completely different but mm, i think uh, from the same quality you know it, these speakers are extraordinary good very good speakers my friends very good speakers and I totally forget these speakers. Though not not sure why, but uh, suddenly I, I well, I'm hunting for them now. I'm hunting for them, and I'm hunting for the for the four nine nine. This is the four nine seven. I'm hunting for the four nine nine, and this is the four nine nine. Uh, this is my speaker, the, the one I reviewed. Yeah, it only have thirty watt, forty watt maximum, and this is the one I'm hunting for, the 22RH499 with nine drivers, nine drivers. Uh, this is, you can see it, well, let me show you a better picture. Well, that's also not a good picture. No, that's not a good picture. Well, this is how it is looking. This is how it is looking. Not sure if you can see it, if you can see it right. This is the back side of the speaker. They, well, let me make this thing smaller so you can see it better. Let me make it smaller. Yeah, like this. More like this. Yeah. This is what, uh, how these speakers are looking. And they are, <laughs> they are very special speakers, my friends. Very special speakers. And, uh, but I'm now looking for them for six months and not even one time they appeared online in the, in the Netherlands. So if they don't appear online in the Netherlands, in the rest of the world, you can forget, you can ever score these speakers. Because Nether the Netherlands was the Valhalla from Philips speakers. And uh, why I want to score these speakers, if the 497 sounds that beautiful, this one, well, this one have to be superb sounding. And why I say the Netherlands, I'm going to show you. 
um, the Netherlands. This is the our Dutch eBay marketplace, yes, and uh, um, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I mean. 732 advertisements from second-hand field speakers. This is only the the speaker sections, yes. And what's this? Completely full. 732 speakers for sale so a lot of these speakers as uh, over here over here this guy over here over here the one i have the one i have i did him an offer i did him an offer because i want to buy them back because i want to test them with that's why i wanted to buy them back i want to test them with that clips subwoofer i want to see how they sound in combination with a good subwoofer and I, I, I bid 40 euro with my friends. That guy, he knows exactly what he's selling. He said, yeah, you can pick them up for 75 euros. So not a chance I can pick them up. But I'm sure I will. I will pick them up soon. Very, very, very cheap. Because a lot of people think, well, these speakers are old. I'm, we should be happy to get 10 or 15 or 20 euro for them. And they don't know what they are selling. And, uh, and this is what 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 this kind of speakers well this one i'm not sure this one is newer not sure i did a bit from 30 euro well not sure if i want them and these speakers they ask 50 this is the 496 it's not the same as the 497 i have and uh let me see they have 20 watt no i don't want them and this is well, this is what I could find. This is what I could find. A very, very quickly search, you know. And there are plenty, 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 plenty of these speakers online in the Netherlands. There's a guy here over here. He made a video from these 22 RH499. Watch how big these speakers are. These, these, these are not small speakers with, the, with those nine drivers. And he's playing them on a uh, Macintosh yes a macintosh and believe me that's the only video online because these speakers are so rare yes and i'm not, not sure what they have on top of these speakers but okay okay this is nice <laughs> i think this is from realistic well, this guy is vintage all over what's this house what's his house vintage house my friends yeah beautiful video you have to watch this video and to hear this sound from this beautiful speakers well i try to score this video this, this this these speakers because um the one i had this one uh, let, me, let me place this thing nice yeah beautiful beautiful and I, I tried to open the uh, the front, and as you can see, I damaged it a little bit over here. I did that because they, well, they have a few, if you can see over here, a little damage. But you can <laughs> well, it they sounds terrific. They sounds terrific. So uh, I want to correct my other move, uh, other video, the best speaker under one hundred euro. Well. There are two speakers, the, the Technics SB4500 and these Philips 22RH497, which have a completely different sound than the, uh, the Technics. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm hunting heavy for those 499s, but uh, the chance that I can ever score a set like this is this small, my friends, this small, unbelievable rare, these speakers. Anyway, and and may I want to score these 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 same four nine seven backs because I want to test them on my subwoofer to see how they sounds with that combined with that sub because they are beautiful sounding speakers, my friends. Well, this is what I wanted to show you what, what I'm hunting for these days. You know, I I will skip this one. I will skip this one because too far driving and well, maybe you come there and the thing the thing sounds bad. You know. Nothing. I'm nothing. Uh, I'm not sure what they are, and uh, well, for the rest, I'm hunting for speakers. And but the thing is that there are 
plenty, plenty, 732 speakers online at the moment, only Philips. Of course, all models, also this, this, this kind of Philips speakers, but everybody in the Netherlands, almost everybody had Philips speakers. So in the Netherlands is the Valhalla for, for Philips speakers. Too. So they are more easy to score in the Netherlands. It would be very hard to score them in, in, in America, you know, in America, they had their own brands, their American brands, but the Netherlands is, it was, I'm not sure, you know, you have so many field speakers, I'm not sure which one are the, the best one, the good ones, but I think the 499s are the one to score. The, I mean, from the vintage stuff, the older stuff, the very old stuff, after 70s, they make a lot of other speakers, also very good speakers like this, the FB, FB825, I earlier review, but uh, uh, yeah, I want to score those oldies, you understand, and uh, well, thanks for watching, put those thumbs up if you like this video, and for now I say bye bye.